Salut Chafasha. <laughs> or as we say in my native tongue, what's up, mother? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. No, no, no. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Kobe. Um, when I introduce myself, uh, I say hello. My name is Kobe. And I get a lot of the same responses. It's like, oh, like Kobe Bryant, like, like the basketball player. And I'm like, yeah, like Kobe Bryant, like the basketball player, except completely different black dude. <laughs> yeah, as a representative of the black community, I'd like to say hello to you guys. Uh, See so you guys don't get a lot of us out here. Uh, <laughs> I've been uh, doing a, something like a case study. Um, and by case study, I just mean I've been counting all the black faces I've seen since I've been out here. I've uh, been out here for about 16 hours and I've seen two and a half black people, which I'm hearing is a lot as far as Eastern Europe is concerned. So thank you guys, I'm happy to be out here. Um, as a oh, yeah, you can clap it up for that. Cred că este frumosel. Sper că este frumos. Pentru că altfel nu înțeleg uh, reacția Radio de... Gaga. Da, da. Căștile puiau toată echipa feminină. Frenezie, uite așa. Uuuu, ce se întâmplă, bă, nene? As a representative of the black community, I'm often put in situations where I have to answer a lot of questions. One of the questions I get a lot is, what do you do? What do you do seems like a regular question. But it's not a regular question, because I'm a black dude who just introduced himself as Kobe. So what do you do is not what do you do. What do you do is, do you play basketball? <laughs> Take my word for it. I don't know how you guys do things here, but you can't just walk up to a black person and ask them if they play basketball, man. It's a little <laughs> up, man. Some people might say it's racist. Do I play basketball? Of course I play basketball, man. I'm good at it too, man. I'm fucking amazing, man. I'm just athletic as <laughs> Oh, yeah. There we go, keep it going, keep it going. Thanks. Oh, my man, Kobe! S-a ridicat zidul, bă, nu s-a mai terminat. Deci a trebuit zidul să înalte, mai a ieșit în platou, efectiv, l-au dat băieții când s-au s-o putut. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, un băiat! Extraordinar, ca, bă, ca un stâlp, bă, ce zic eu, mă, era extraordinar. M-am us pe suflet, pentru că am jucat foarte mult basket, foarte mult basket, și eram bun. Yeah, but uh, like I said, as a, as a representative of the black community, man, anytime I get to a place, I try to blend in, I try to learn about the culture, I try to learn about the people. I, I just got, this is a quick question. Who the f*** was in charge of assigning floors? See some confused faces in the crowd. Why the f*** is floor number two, floor number five? You guys aren't following. So I get to the hotel and they say, hey, you're on floor number two. I'm like, cool, I'm an athletic dude. I'll take the stairs. I get to the stairs. I pass by something okay. called Parta and Mezzanine. Like, in my Google search, I'm like, these are not even numbers. <laughs> I just think it'd be, it'd be a little bit easier if floor number two What's floor number two? I just think it makes it easier for anybody trying to deliver a package or have sex. If I'm lucky enough to meet a woman and go back to her apartment, if she doesn't have an elevator, if it's past floor number two, that's a no can do. I'm not going up all those stairs. I'm not doing it. And another thing I was realizing is, man, you guys have a lot of beautiful people here, man. So many beautiful, the women here are, oh, they're amazing, man. The only thing that parallels these, yeah, we clap it up for the women. But the only thing that parallels that is the, is the beautiful machinery that you guys have, man. So many nice cars, man. It's like a Beamer drives by on a Mercedes Benz. I'm like, shit. This dude drove up, man, he had a nice-ass BMW, man. He gets out of the BMW, man, and I lie to you now, he goes inside the BMW, he starts picking stuff out, he's taking these bags out, bags full of money. And he starts walking, and I'm like, I gotta go talk to this guy, I gotta figure out what the is going on. I'm like, excuse me, sir. He's like, yes. I said, hey, man, do you live here? He said, yeah. I said, man, what do you do? He said, I'm a priest. Oh! <laughs> hey. Uh, me picat facha. <laughs> Blew my f- mind. I said, ah. Uh, now listen, as a man of God, I will say, I like the way that you guys treat your religious figures, man. It's really nice that you guys take care of them. Keep them on good payroll. It's nice. It's nice. 
So like I said, man, I constantly analyzing the environment. I went back to the hotel, led me to Google search, man. Started searching a bunch of stuff, man. I mean, I'm a little ashamed of this. I actually have in my Google search, do Romanians watch porn? <laughs> and the response to it was, do they? <laughs> Only thing that they love more than their porn is God. And that is a country that I'd like to live in, for sure, for sure. Whereas it's, it's actually statistically proven. Uh, Sunday, the day that you guys go to church, is also the day that the most porn is streamed in this country. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me to believe that uh, after you guys finish praising God, you get home to check out that internet connection, am I right? <laughs> the two top categories that are searched for porn here in Romania are Romania and Romanians. Now, some people might think that's self-absorbed, but I just think it shows that you guys support each other. <laughs> it's good. Outside of those two searches, the next three are MILF, lesbian, and hentai, which means that me and Romanians have a lot more in common than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have these futuristic iRobot masks on. I just have like a regular black mask that I wear, man. Are you guys, you guys not tired of wearing the mask, man? Yes, we are. The other day, I went and I tried to unlock my phone. And I'm looking, and Siri called the police on me. <laughs> I took the mask off, I'm like, Siri, it's me. She's like, oh, my bad. I'm like, damn, that's racist. That's <laughs> the issue is I'm a high energy, positive person, man. I like sharing energy. I like the exchange of energy. I live for that shit, man. I don't care where I'm at. I could be in a little, and I see like, you know, those little babies, and they're like just starting to walk, they're like waddling, and I'm like, hey there, little baby. Hey there, little baby with the red shoes, look at you. And it's a joyous situation. The parents, they're hyping me up. They're like, look, say hi to the black guy. Say hi to the black guy, he's so happy. It's a joyous, joyous situation. situation. Or at least it was. Now with these face masks, man, I'm in the same situation, I'm in the same little, but it's different, man. So I got that face mask on, I'm like, hey there, little baby. <laughs> hey there, little baby with the red shoes. Like, hey, hey, back up for my kid, get out of here. <laughs> so happy to be back in Romania, man. Woo! And on the grand baby. stage, man, it's battle night. Yes! Yeah. Guys, guys chose my, my biggest weakness, <laughs> man, a Romanian woman in a red dress, man. <laughs> She's beautiful, right, man? Yeah, Gorgeous, yeah, man, course. Jesus. And I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, maybe, maybe I just, maybe I just lose, man. Just, just, I, I want to find out what she's going to wear for the next round. <laughs> that outfit's nice, man. I was thinking to myself, no, I can't do that. Man, but if everything goes right tonight, um, hopefully I'll beat her more than once. <laughs> I'm just playing, it's just jokes, it's just jokes. Yeah. Um, no, nah, man, but I'm happy to be back, man. It always puts me in a, in a good energy, a good mood, man, when I'm here, man. Last time I was here, I was doing some donating. I say donating because I'm a black dude and we don't get robbed, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was, uh, I was donating, to some, uh, donating to some kids that I met outside the train station uh, mm. that were also selling uh, drugs. So, uh, <laughs> donated some money to those guys. It was cool, man. And it, was, it was the most peaceful robbery I've ever been a part of. We walked around the block, man. They were talking to me about the stuff that they like to do. You know what I'm saying? They followed me on Instagram. We took pictures together. It just blew my mind when they ran off with the money, man. It was awkward. It was weird. <laughs> it, it was weird because the money I gave them was fake, man. It was jokes on them. Man. <laughs> the energy, though, it just, it just puts you, right, put you in the right direction. Man. I was out in, uh, in Old Town, man. I was sitting at the bar. I was getting all these questions and stuff, man. It's uh, hospitable questions like, uh, do you like our women? Are you enjoying yourself in Romania? Do you like our women? Would you please have sex with all women? <laughs> like, hey, man, chill out, man. He's like, well, they're not going to like that I'm telling you this, but we know what's going on down there. It's like, what, well, what do you mean? He's like, you're We know. <laughs> but don't worry, we're not fighting. We actually, we welcome you here. We would we'd like for you to take one of our women and have sexual relations with them and just tell us how it is. I was like, man, that's weird as hell. I had to get away from that dude, man. I thought that I could drink with Romanians. Mm -hmm. Are we in this camera? Is this a camera? Put the camera on my face. Don't do that. You cannot drink with Romanians. These motherfuckers too good. <laughs> they know we don't know. He 
is so good. I Jesus. heard that line, I was like, that's the one that's gonna get you past. It's true, it's true, it's true. These mother giving me regular drinks, vodka and uh, tequila, all this stuff. And I was doing, I was doing with that, man. It was like, keep those coming. Then they brought out some other called uh, Vishinata or something like that. <laughs> Hey, you know, what's, you know what's crazy is the people in the crowd are clapping because they're like, oh, this is the part of the story where he gets <laughs> Yeah, he, hey, he brought it out. I asked him, I said, what is this? He said, this is what we give our women. <laughs> Which confused the me because right after I drunk it, my hard than a mother. <laughs> I'm talking about, I was there, I was drunk. I was like, man, I got to get this together. I was like, so I went to the bartender and uh, he looked at me and he was like, oh, you look like you're ready to I said, hey, chill, man. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> How you doing, man? You look cool. What's your name, bro? Eddie. Oh, that's a, that's a cool name. You from, you from Bucharest? More or less. <laughs> yeah. That's the story. Yeah, what is, so what does that actually one. mean? What does that it's mean? It's from Moldova, but it's... Oh, okay, from Moldova. Okay, it's Eddie from Moldova. <laughs> cool, man. You look like you know how to have a good time, man. Anybody with a turtleneck knows how to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clap it up for turtlenecks. Hey, boy. I love it. Hey, look, I'm not going to lie. The Romanian energy, the vibe is different. She just came out here and showed y'all some... See, y'all clapped it up. That, you can't get away with that in America. They'd have canceled this show. That, Turn it off. He wasn't even circumcised. Just <laughs> crazy. It's crazy, man. And what's your name? Mike. Yeah. Where you from? He's from Bucharest. Give it up for Mike from Bucharest. So I'm going to talk to you guys about something that Mike definitely associate with. You're in a club with your friends having a good time. Mm, mm, up, mm, mm, up. Now, you're having a great time with your friends, and out of the corner of your eye, the most beautiful woman that you've ever seen walks into the club. She locks eyes with you, and she walks straight to you, and she says, Mike, she already know your name somehow. She said, Mike, <laughs> I want to buy you a drink. You guys have a drink, dancing, having the time of your lives. The night comes to a close, and she looks you in your eyes, and she said, I've had an amazing time with you. I would like you to come back to my apartment. Now, you look her in the eyes, and you do what every man in this building would do in that situation. You say, you're beautiful. I appreciate the time that I've spent with you, but I just met you. And absolutely, we can go to your apartment. Where are we going? We're going we're gonna to take a look. going to get on my back. We can walk there if you want. <laughs> get back to her apartment. And you guys have some of the most amazing sex that you've ever had in your life. I'm talking about, you like she is dead. And when you look back at her on the bed, she's like stretched out lifeless. And you've, you've her soul. <laughs> Just, it's gone, you know? Right? And then with a little bit of effort, a little bit of strength that she has, she lifts her head up. And she says, Mike, do you want a sandwich? <laughs> what do you say? Hell yeah, you say hell yeah. Sandwich. She hops a little naked ass up, runs down the stairs. She goes to get the sandwich. Then you get up, and what do you do? You do your hands. Mm, 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 mm. Then you go to the bathroom. But when you get in there, you realize she has no tissue and no napkins. What you doing with that wet? You're gonna use her face towel to wipe your because you're a nasty mother. Like every guy in here. All right, guys, that's my. Yeah, what's up? Man? Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. I got to... I get to go against Hannah Becker, man. This is bittersweet to go against Hannah, man. You know, I mean, I, I care about Hannah, man. She's she's a good, warm-hearted, kind person. I know what the people in the audience, people at home, are thinking is like, man, how many white women is Kobe gonna have to beat to get to that money? <laughs> All of them, if I need to. All of them. I'll destroy them. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But uh, it's bittersweet, man, to go against Hannah, man, because she's got a good heart. And the fact that her name is Hannah. Anytime I've met somebody named Hannah, it's always been good energy. And Hannah's always givers. But the thing, like I said, it's bittersweet because with Hannah, it's, it's always been the same situation, man. Everything always starts out good and then the shit gets weird, man. I go on the dates, dates are great. We get back and right before we have a sexual encounter or right after, it's always weird, man. I might be in there naked and they look at my butt and they're like, 
man, you got a really nice ass. And I'm secure in my masculinity, so, you know, I can take the compliment. Thank you. And like, uh, have you ever had it eaten? I'm like, what? You what? Yep, surprise. His hand is eat ass. Uh, don't judge me. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just a messenger. This shit happens, though. It's not happened. Oh, not oh, one time. Not two times. Not three. But four different occasions. I've been on dates with girls named Hannah, and the shit always ends the same. And the last Hannah, man, it's, the shit got a little bit weirder, man. You know, she started offering me all these weird ass incentives. She was like, man, you let me eat your ass. I'll buy you this nice leather bag that you can wear, man. It's. <laughs> you <put all> your... <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Anyway, uh, needless to say, uh, I'm a bargain man, um, and I cannot pass up a deal. Uh, but I do have a new rule. If Hannah's come over to my house, they got to drink out of a plastic cup. Not sharing, <laughs> not sharing cups with, uh, with, those, with those girls. But um, like I said, man, I'm happy to be here, man. It's crazy because in my mind, when I first got in the city and where I am now, it's different, right? Because in the beginning, I was looking at all these buildings. I was like, man, you guys got the laziest architects in the world. It's like, <laughs> don't finish nothing. It's like, uh... Hey, we're gonna finish it? It's like, uh, no, I think they get the point. <laughs> and I was in the car, I was having this conversation with one of the drivers. He was driving me back to the hotel. He said, Man, you can't talk about our architects until you've been to Casa de Casa de Popu Ruli. Yes. Right? Popu. Casa de Popu Ruli. Yes. I said, Oh shit, I've heard about this place. It's like really, really big. He's like, Yeah. I said, It's one of like the biggest government builders in the world. He said, Yeah. I said, Oh yeah, it was like a dictator and he got the building built. And then as it was completed, he died. He said, No. I said, He didn't have the building built. He said, No, no, you were, you were correct about everything else. Um, but he didn't die. We killed him. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, look. If it, hey, I, I, don't, I don't take away wins. If it's a win for you, it's a win for me. I'm cool with it. I was like, all right, cool. So I get it. And it's like all the people that were working on the buildings, they went to this place, the Casa de, de, de Populi, uh, Populi, and uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, and they no. were working there. And he's like, no, no, uh, we actually don't know how many architects work there. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? And then he got this sinister look on his face. He's like, well, the legends say that the architects in the building built uh, trap doors and tunnels and fake doors and all these different things. And when they finished the project, they were assassinated. I was like, man, that's got to be a tough day at work. Imagine you get to your job, right? They're passing out the different topics and shit that you got to do. You get your shit. Like, man. He's like, what'd you get? Man, I got a bathroom. What'd you get? Man, I got a hallway, man. Hey, man, but I heard Victor gets to build a tunnel. It's like, man, Victor's always getting the cool jobs, man. I said, yeah, man, he's, I mean, he's the oldest, man. He's been here the longest. He knows the most stuff. It makes sense that he would get the job. <laughs> then a couple weeks go by. Like, uh, has anybody seen Victor? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go ask the boss. <laughs> hey, boss. Yes. Uh, I haven't seen Victor in a while, man. What's going on? Uh, well, he finished the project and uh, his contract ended. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. So it's not that you guys have bad architects, it's that you guys probably have PTSD from finishing buildings. <laughs> I can just imagine somebody like, Mihai, Mihai, come here. He's like, yes, are these the final plans for the building? <laughs> uh, tell me, Mihai. <laughs> No, uh, there's actually a bunch more shit that's got to get done uh, with this building. Uh, but quick question, um, I do get a vacation on my contract, right? Yes, amongst other things. Uh, well, I'm going to take my vacation. Well, you know, we are very understanding people. How long a vacation do you need? Well, I want to see my wife and kids grow up, so maybe like 20, 30 years if it's cool. <laughs> Don't worry, Mihai. We will be waiting. I'm sure you will. <laughs> sure you will. <laughs> All right, guys, enough time.